Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a fascinating challenge in the world of PowerShell scripting. Our viewer is looking to generate a self-signed certificate using a root CA signer on Windows Server 2012 R2. Let's dive into the details. In this scenario, our viewer is using PowerShell to create a root certificate and wants to sign both an intermediate and a web certificate in dynamic development and testing environments. The goal is to keep everything within PowerShell, avoiding additional dependencies. The viewer has already generated the root certificate using specific COM objects, but now they're unsure how to use it for signing standard certificates without relying on previous methods. They are also considering Bouncy Castle in C-sharp, but prefer to stick with pure PowerShell solutions. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get through that resolution. So let's continue on. To generate a self-signed certificate with a root CA signer in PowerShell, we first need to create our root certificate. This can be done using the X509 enrollment com object. Once we have our root certificate, we can generate the intermediate certificate. This is done using the new self-signed certificate commandlet, specifying the root certificate as the signer. Next, we will create the web certificate. Similar to the intermediate certificate, we will use the new self-signed certificate commandlet, again specifying the root certificate as the signer. Finally, ensure that you properly manage the certificates in your dynamic environments. You can automate the creation and destruction of these certificates as needed. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To generate a self-signed certificate with a root CA signer, you can use PowerShell. Start by creating a new self-signed certificate with a friendly name. Make sure to define the subject and expiration date. The subject should include SN equals test root CA and set the expiration using the current date plus the desired number of years. Finally, pay attention to the key usage properties. Use Nench key usage property and key usage to specify the certificate's capabilities. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To generate a self-signed certificate with a root CA signer, you can use the Ediverba self-signed certificate generator. It's a free GUI tool for Windows that lets you create your own CA certificates and sign end certificates. You can export your certificates in various formats like PEM, CR, and PFX. The process is simple and involves just three lines of encoding. For encoding, set the subject to CN equals test corp private CA, check basic constraints, and set the subject type to CA. Then give your file a name, choose a format, and click Create Certificate.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To create a self-signed root certificate, start by ensuring it has the correct text extension to designate it as a root certificate. This certificate must be placed in a root certificate store for trust, like the local machine My Store. Check the key usage settings to ensure they meet your needs. While you can change these settings, documentation on best practices may be limited. To move or copy the certificate, export it and then import it again or create it directly in the desired location. Typically, certificates are created in the My Store. By default, the certificate will be exportable. Here's a PowerShell command to create the self-signed certificate. For more details, you can refer to the Microsoft documentation on creating temporary certificates. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until next time, I hope you have a good day and see you then. Cheers.